And now we're beginning to see the impact in the real world. This is Mount Kilimanjaro more than 30 years ago and more recently. And a friend of mine just came back from Kilimanjaro with a picture he took a couple months ago. Another friend, Lonnie Thompson, studies glaciers. Here's Lonnie with a last sliver of one of the once mighty glaciers. Within the decade, there will be no more snows of Kilimanjaro. This is happening in Glacier National Park. I climbed to the top of this in 1998 with one of my daughters. Within 15 years, this will be the park formerly known as Glacier. Here is what's been happening year by year to the Columbia Glacier. It just retreats every single year. And it's a shame because these glaciers are so beautiful. But those who go up to see them, here's what they're seeing every day now. In the Himalayas, uh, there's a particular problem because 40% of all the people in the world get their drinking water from rivers and spring systems that are fed more than half by the meltwater coming off the glaciers. And within this next half century, those 40% uh, of the people on Earth are going to face a very serious shortage because uh, of this melting. Italy, the Italian Alps, same site today. An old postcard from Switzerland throughout the Alps, we're seeing the same story. It's also true in uh, South America. This is Peru 15 years ago and the same glacier today. This is Argentina 20 years ago, same glacier today. 75 years ago in Patagonia on the tip of South America, this vast expanse of ice is now gone. There is a message in this. It is worldwide. And the ice has stories to tell us.